The things that Tom Cruise spends his money and time on. Let's take a look at those. Braces for Tom. Tom Cruise. The Tom Cruise. That guy with the million dollar smile didn't always have it like that. Tom Cruise did not have perfect teeth at one point. It's called monotooth or unitooth as some people might refer to it as. And it's basically where one tooth protrudes out more than the other. And there's a kind of separation between them. Believe it or not, that was indeed the kind of smile Mr. Cruz had when he began his acting career, until he spent some of that hard-earned blockbuster movie money on making a new and improved smile. Planes, trains, and automobiles. When it comes to having the kind of money that Tom Cruise has, a supposed network of $550 million, and an acting career that has spanned over two decades with the potential earnings of around $50 million a year, developing having and sustaining an exotic car fetish is pretty reasonable. So where should we start? The Bugatti Veyron that goes up to 254 miles per hour is considered one of the best cars ever made to date with a price tag of $1.7 million. No? How about the old school 1958 Chevrolet Corvette, the premier muscle man car with an estimated selling price of $99,995. Needless to say, Tom has a lot of money and a lot of cars they have spent a lot of money on. The cool thing is that each car is just like something that Ethan Hunt, one of Tom Cruise's movie alter egos, would be proud of. When it comes to portraying an international spy, a sleek car, either modern or past, is a necessity. The same must be said when it comes to being Tom Cruise, a rare gift for a scholar. Imagine a past prepubescent Harry Potter, who's American, coming back to meet his longtime mentor and a friend. An Americized version of Professor Dumbledore, a slight deviation from the J.K. Rowling storyline, and plot from the famous Temple R book series. But that's the picture one will gather when hearing about what Tom Cruise did for an old friend of his, who is also happens to be his lawyer, Bert Fields. Cruise spent a handsome sum of an extremely rare edition of Halson's Book of English History. This was a gift that once again showed just how thoughtful Tom Cruise is. And when it comes to giving, Mr. Cruz does not mind spending his money. And like his alter ego and Jerry Magger says, show me the money, Tom Cruz does just that when it comes to his gifting. Man's got style. Let's not negate the fact that Tom Cruise has been a heartthrob for well over two decades. From the moment he put on those shades in Risky Business, Mr. Cruz has been on the minds of a lot of people and a lot of fantasies and no doubt lingering in the dreams of most. Stylist Nicole and Wendy Ferreria, who was introduced to Mr. Cruz through a Paramount contract, regards his style as elegant, traditional, and in the veins of classic, a look that is supposed to reflect Tom Cruise and the evolution of Tom Cruise. For this brand of style and suits that earmarks the happening of the actor's evolution, Mr. Cruise could be spending around $8,000 per suit. Moving the mansions. A while back, Tom Cruise listed his Beverly Hills mansion for $50 million. This same home was something lavish that the actor and then wife, Katie Holmes, spent $30 million on. Without going into great detail, the house tailed about 10,000 square feet and sat on 1.3 acres with the exceptional amenities. However, the superstar actor and action Baron also owns a home in Tellerue, Colorado that he is selling for $59,000. Needless to say, Mr. Cruz has shelled out a lot of money for homes. Ironically, one of his plans is to move to Florida, once his Beverly Hills spot sells. Isn't that where people go to retire? For moviegoers and fans everywhere, we certainly hope that this isn't the case for Tom Cruise. He's most likely moving to Florida because that's where his son lives and where his Scientology headquarters is too. His inner athlete. Imagine it. Tom Cruise in WWE. Well, it could be possible. Back in high school, the man who now plays action heroes like Jack Reacher and Ethan Hunt used to be one of the wrestling teams and was pretty great at soccer. If it hadn't been for a knee injury, the world may have gotten to know a different Tom Cruise. So, it's no surprise to then to find out that Mr. Cruise doesn't mind spending top-notch dollars for prime seats at a man for sporting event as athletes tend to invest in watching other athletes. It can be considered a way of life. What do you think about Tom Cruise's spending habits? Do let us know in the comment section down below.